Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tor and this is Anthropology. All right, thank you for joining me in today's video. This one will be very chit chatty. This seems to be my style now, my vibe, what I'm into. So grab a coffee, settle in. This one's going to be more of a, not a heart to heart, but just confessions of a former shopaholic, how it started, the peak, the descent, and where I'm at now. So if you're into that sort of stuff, if you're struggling with a shopping addiction or a shopping affliction or just shopping in general, please, you know, watch this video to the end. Um, maybe you'll get some good tips on how you can get out of it. And yeah, let me know any other comments down below. So let's get into this video. So I'm gonna talk about how it started. For those that are unfamiliar with me, I would say just glance through the channel, you'll see I had a pretty big shopping addiction. Shopping sort of overtook my life in some degree, but if we're gonna go all the way back, I've always been interested in shopping, in designer shopping specifically. My mom and my grandma, you know, they always were very stylish. And as a boy, I was never allowed to you know, participate in the girly activity of dressing up and, you know, buying handbags and shopping and that sort of stuff. I was always sort of pushed towards more other traditional male activities. You know, this this is just my experience. It won't be for everybody, but maybe you'll find some things in there. But basically, I digress. Back to this. So I was never allowed to really participate in shopping for handbags, whatever, you know, fun girly things. And when I started making adult money, Basically, I started, it all, it all really started at Nordstrom. So I worked at Nordstrom in Vancouver. Um, for those that are unfamiliar with Nordstrom, they are a luxury department store. So I worked there in the men's accessory section and I began selling luxury goods to people. At Nordstrom, it was a very normalized environment to consume, to talk, to purchase luxury goods. It was encouraged. Um, because obviously if you want to sell it, you have to wear it. So when I moved to Vancouver like five years ago from Montreal, I was, oh my God, how old, how old was I when I moved here? I think I was 19, 19 and a half. I decided to take myself to Gucci and I purchased my very first luxury good, which was a card holder. Purchased a card holder, I still have it today. It's a great, great purchase. I then subsequently purchased a belt and you know the prices became more normalized to me i didn't think it was as crazy to spend a couple hundred dollars on a single item whereas before i was working at the gap and often i wouldn't even spend more than ten dollars on something so that shift was quite big but yes i'd always been more or less into designer goods into luxury things into shopping in general and then when i started working in nordstrom is when it really accelerated i was given a staff discount it wasn't that good it was only like 20 percent, but still that's something so it really started there I really started purchasing a lot of items that I found on sale at Nordstrom that I combined my discount so I didn't seem as bad. I would also, um, there was like employee only sales where things were like up to 50% off. So I, it was, I was very incentivized to purchase and I did. I loved it. I purchased so many things like shoes and clothes and bags, like you name it, I was buying it. So that's when it started. And then I think I left Nordstrom went to Burberry for a little bit and then I started working in recruitment. From there, um, the pandemic hit. You know, what happened during the pandemic? Most people, and I'm gonna say most people, but you know, from a place of eye, I started using shopping as a coping mechanism for dealing with the pandemic. I've said this before, you know, I think a lot of people have. We couldn't spend our money on other things. We couldn't really go out. We couldn't do restaurants. We couldn't go traveling. We couldn't even hang out with our friends in Vancouver. So what did we do? What did I do? I started shopping. I spent all of my money on discretionary goods, on luxury goods. So that's more or less how it started. So it definitely peaked during the pandemic. I would say like 2021 was like the peak of my shopping addiction. I was buying handbags like they were candy. Every few weeks there was something new on my radar. I also started this YouTube channel and I felt the pressure to consume like a luxury YouTuber would consume. I was wanting to consume, you know, things every few weeks so I could review them, unbox them because I felt like if I wasn't purchasing, if I wasn't making this content, I wasn't able to make content. 
which in hindsight, you know, is not true, but I mean, it did help me get to where this channel is today, which it's not a big channel, but still is something. Uh, so basically, yeah, I peaked in 2021, probably end of 2021 to early 2022 is when, you know, things started to take a, take a slide downhill. I had just acquired so many bags at my peak. I had 14 handbags. You know, I had like, I don't know, maybe like 40 pairs of shoes. I had a bunch of clothes. And I was just starting to feel like my stuff was consuming me. I was surrounded by it 24 seven. I was thinking about it 24 seven. And then I was also thinking about what I was going to consume next. I was living on Fashion File. I was living on Essence. I was living on luxury YouTube. And I just couldn't get out of this like hurricane of consumption. Everything was, I felt like I had to like consume constantly and I wanted to consume constantly, but you know, the world was opening up again. Things were starting to change. Prices were starting to get a bit like crazy. You know, inflation was starting to show its head and I didn't want to consume anymore, but oh my God, my nose, sorry. There's like allergies right now and there's construction next door. And I think the dust is like getting on my nose, but basically I felt like I didn't want to consume at the same rate anymore. I like financially couldn't and I didn't know how to get out. So basically I just started decluttering and slowly like more or less changing my mindset around it. That leads me to where I'm at now. So if you followed my journey, you've seen that I downsized my space and with downsizing my space has come downsizing my collection and changing my philosophy on bringing stuff in. I live in a 500 and something square foot apartment now, used to live in a, over a thousand. So what I've noticed is when you have space, you fill space. Like if you have an extra bedroom, it'll be filled. It is rare to leave space unfilled in North America or in the West, for example. And now I have to really evaluate what I bring into the house. Is it something that has a place to live? Like where will it go? It's all in fine and good to bring something in because you like it, but then it has to live somewhere. I used to have this big shelf in my closet where I would display everything. It felt like a little boutique in my house. And I realized that's sort of what I was doing it for. I was doing it for just to look at these things and just to like see them and own them and like know that I owned them. But I didn't really like wearing a lot of the bags actually. Like I rarely wore them outside. I would get self-conscious of people staring or like, why are they staring? Is it like a homophobic thing? Is it because they're admiring the bag? Are they gonna like target me for whatever thing? So I felt like I was really uncomfortable wearing a lot of the bags sometimes, especially some of the more like feminine pieces. But basically I started journaling. I wanted to understand why I was shopping so much and what, what was, um, what was really the underlying thing there. And it was a coping mechanism, which I realized, and as we're coming out of the pandemic, I realized I didn't need that coping mechanism anymore because the world was opening up. I wanna explore, I wanna travel, I wanna experience things. And what I can't do with my stuff is experience things. I can experience things wearing my stuff, but often with luxury goods, I found I was thinking more about the item when I was somewhere than I was where I actually was. And I didn't like that. I didn't like thinking about my things while I was wanting to be present in my experiences. So basically, I digress. All that to say, I downsized my space and with that came downsizing my collection. And I had this mental realization that I only wanna keep things that I actually wear, that are functional, that are working for my everyday life, not that I'm working for. And with that, I sold almost all of my designer bags except for like three, well, technically four, but they're SLGs, so like, doesn't matter. I don't know. Anyways, basically I told myself that I already have everything I need. I don't need anything more. I don't want to spend my money on things anymore. I want to spend my money on experiences and I just don't have the space physically, emotionally, mentally, financially to afford these things anymore. And I started doing a budget tracker, which I highly recommend everybody do. I started this around six months ago to figure out where my money was going. And I was astonished to see that I was spending more money on shopping than on my savings, on my housing, on my food, like combined. And like, that was like a real eye opener for me, just knowing that so much of my income is going to this one area that is so discretionary, that is not really furthering my life in any way. 
it's just things that I can decorate myself with like I'm a Barbie doll or something and I really started to realize that living in the luxury YouTube community living in this space living in the society these bags sort of became like toys almost like really expensive toys that I would use to like dress up and I just felt like I I feel now that I don't need that anymore and it's been really good I don't shop really anymore I think selling a lot of things has been really eye-opening for that so I recommend if you are struggling with like a shopping addiction of some sort force yourself to sell some of your most prized possessions whatever it may be for me once I sold my Celine Nano tote I was done like that was it like the spell was broken true love's kiss woke me up I didn't have the fog anymore and I struggled for so long to get to that point and I'm really grateful to be at that point now but it is a whole emotional roller coaster I don't know why it just is but I hope this video wasn't too rambly I hope you got some points out of it but definitely my advice to break a shopping addiction sell the things that got you there in the first place change your habits don't go to the stores anymore don't look online anymore if you find yourself you know just auto going to these places have a moment of presence and try to like leave and do something else track your money track your spending figure out where it's going figure out what you're spending it on and see whether or not you want to allocate that money elsewhere and do something else with it and maybe live into experiences or save money for like you know just for the sake of saving money <laughs> in my opinion you know so where i'm at now not really shopping as much traveling more i'm very excited i'll bring you all along with me when i go to europe in a few weeks and i'm feeling much more mentally clear i felt uh, when i had so many things was on the constant pursuit of things mentally i was living in a closet you know <laughs> i've been in the closet before but this time it was a closet where all i was was my things i identified with my things i was my things but you are not your things your things are things that you wear in in this example in this case but they're not you if that makes sense like our style is how we can portray ourselves to the world however it's not necessarily you it is like a version of yourself i don't know it's, it's going down like a weird rabbit hole but basically that's that if you have any questions um definitely put them in the comment below let me know if you're struggling with this if you're if this where you're at in the stages if you're just getting into shopping if you're at your peak if you're on your descent or if you're fully out the door so let me know thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed and please like comment subscribe and i'll see you all again bye guys